Hi folks, we are back with Tennis in 10 in a unique episode. My great friend Vivek Krishna is sitting in his house, I'm sitting in my house and we are connecting online in these days of stay at home isolation. What's the content you start with? All the slams, tournaments are cancelled? Everything at a yes. stand tennis world? Yeah, but, but the one big tournament uh, remains Wimbledon because it's a slam and that is the only tournament, that is the only Grand Slam to be officially cancelled. We don't know what's going to happen with the French Open and the US Open. Right. But uh, what do we know? What we do know is uh, Wimbledon is not going to be played in 2020. They're looking at 2021. And this is the first time after the Second World War that Wimbledon yes. is not going to be staged. Goes back to 1939, 39 to 44, 45. So yeah. And uh, so the rankings now, of course, the bigger concern was the rankings. All the players' rankings have been frozen. They didn't move. How do you think this? complete lockdown of the season impacts players' rankings. Yeah, rankings, I would, uh, I think Novak. Novak is the only guy who's going to be affected because if uh, the tour would have gone in the normal uh, way, as it was planned, he right. would have eclipsed, he would he would be close to a surpassing Pete now. And somewhere down in October, he would have surpassed Roger as well. So, as far as ranking is concerned, Novak is obviously, uh, he's got the rough side of it. Talk about Wimbledon, chances, opportunities, both Serena and Roger, because they remain the best players to play on the grass for a long time. But yeah, I mean, every player in the ATP ranking, small, big, is impacted by this. A lot of players have come online and expressed the fact that they don't have any source of income once these tournaments are shut down. ATP 50s are shut down, 500s and the slams, of course. So, they are completely at a loss economically. No revenue coming in and uh, many players I know have posted the anguish online saying that they might even have to give up the sport in the next six months if there is no movement. Uh, what I can tell you is tennis is the only sport uh, where there is a great disparity between the cream and the lower rank guys. Is it fair? Not fair? I don't know. That's, that's a debate for another day. But what could happen is you could set aside some money, park aside some, some, some funds uh, where these big shots play, where the big guys play the exhibitions, you could set aside some amount. Charity is a great thing to be done, noble cause, not denying it. But some money, if it's dedicated to such unforeseen uh, circumstances, calamities, it will only help. Yeah, but you know, it's such an individual sport, so there's no guarantee money with any player who makes it in the ATP ranking. So that's the tragedy and the beauty of tennis, it's such a gloriously individual sport. So, the association can't really guarantee any player who makes it and breaks through the ATP like they have in other group sports. But uh, the only way I think tennis players can ever make money in between off-seasons is do a lot of side activity, coaching and various other works, which again has all come to a standstill. So, a lot of worrying times for players who are ranked right below. Not easy. Not easy to be a tennis pro. Have you been catching up on watching tennis content on uh, any streaming platform? Any interesting thing you've watched? Yeah, plenty of it. Uh, reading books, uh, watching documentaries. Uh, I just saw, uh, yeah, Arthur Ashe's documentary. A nice one, beautifully compiled. I think it's done by BBC. Talks okay. about his journey. Talks about how he uh, came through the civil war in America and how he fought for racism. He was a very subservient guy. Uh, he just let the racket do his talking. And he was a great believer in uh, equality. He, he took it to his rivals. I remember uh, in his documentary, he was talking about Jimmy Connors and he, Jimmy being his nemesis. He could never beat Jimmy. And uh, finally, when the time came, 1975 Wimbledon finals, he beat him. And how he beat him is a wonderful story. You need to watch the documentary. And as he moved on, he had many more challenges. Obviously, uh, he was contracted with AIDS in 1993. Yes. Unfortunately, he passed away, but the work he did, not only for Americans, for uh, people overseas, Nelson Mandela, after he got released from the jail, the first country he went to was the United States. First city, New York. One of the first guys he met was Arthur Ashe. So, wonderful story. I think you need to, at this point in time, given the situation we find ourselves, you need some sort of an inspiration. And if you could go back, dig into the past, absorb some stuff from Arthur Ashe, 
wonderful because he was a great guy character man with a vision and above all great humanitarian uh, it's playing on youtube you said or is it in any other stream that is platform? correct yes that is correct exactly. youtube and uh, next the my favorite all the tennis players are all on instagram because they have nothing to do they are cooking they are they are exchanging information they are making yeah. uh, exotic cocktail drinks with each other so yes. it's very easy now to find the instagram posts by tennis players i've, I've chosen a few which we share mm. with viewers and it's all very interesting and funny they are motivating us keeping us trying to keep us sane and also having a lot of fun in the bargain doing a lot of live live proceedings really on fitness tennis coaching their own life story so on and so forth so enjoy this instagram segment which is always my favorite and to end uh, i think we can have uh, a lot of people all over the world have posted videos as to how they play tennis at home and vivek that's a tip for you actually so let's end yeah. by sharing with our viewers a few of these very funny quirky strange exotic highly creative videos which people have shared all over online about how they are playing tennis using available resources using anything available at home using their home space to play tennis also urge our friends and families who are watching this to share their own little quirky sport videos if they played their sport then is specifically in a strange unique funny way please share the video with us we will be happy to put it on our channel and we'll connect again we'll hopefully bring a more quirky or funnier episode use our imagination in uh, sitting at home go well arif cheers yes see you soon vivek stay at home and play the game